Hey what's up YouTube, it's Chickens here, I'm back again with our Animal Crossing video. So today in this video I'm going to be doing sort of an, not a full island tour, more like an island update to see, just to show you guys how my island is after like a few months of posting and me just building things up. So to start things off, I have not finished my island, like it's nowhere close to being finished, so I'll pull up the map real quick. So as you can see, this whole entire area next to the airport, I have done nothing with. I still need ideas what to do for my entrance and have like what to put around here. But the area surrounding it, with, uh, surrounding it, I'm pretty much done with. So I'll just take you on a tour of everything I have so far. So as you can see here, everything here is empty. So there's nothing over here, but I will start with my house. So I put my house on this like cool mountaintop thing. So I built this entire mountain for my house and it's in the exact center of the map. So just so when I uh, wake up in the morning and get to place like pretty fast. So here's my little sloping tower thing or sloping mountain thing right here. So you just walk all the way around, a bunch of gold roses, a bunch of black flowers, and here's my house right here. Uh, I'm not going to go in my house right now because I don't really have anything in there. I need furniture still to put in there. I haven't really been doing anything with that. But so that's my house, so we'll run across towards... Actually, I shouldn't run across, so I'll walk. We'll walk to the marketplace next. So actually, before I do that, let's check out my map, so I'll show you what villages I have right now. So right now, I have Gonzo... Uh, Rolled, Twiggy, Sandy, Marina, Snake, Shep, uh, Amelia, and Sherb. So I'm probably going to try to get most of these guys to move out soon. Not most, probably like half. So I'm keeping Gonzo, Rolled, Marina, and Snake for sure. Uh, I'm for sure getting rid of Sandy and Amelia. I want them to move out soon. I'm not sure I'll get Shep to move out. I'm kind of like half on half on that. And the same thing with Sherb, I don't know yet. But I'll probably get Twiggy to move out too, maybe. But so that's my villages right now, but um, so here's my marketplace. This is the first thing I built when I got the island design features. So right here, walking here is the gas station I just made a couple days ago. And I put a little race car bed right here too. And then walking over here is the Nook's Cranny. I put a little uh, box thing right here, some garbage bins to the side over here. And I also put some blue hyacinths and some orange hyacinths right here. And then next to that is the Able Sisters on the other side of the stairs to keep it symmetrical here. So I gave them some green mums and some purple and pink mums as well. Then I put some a clothing rack right here and a sewing machine right here. And then so going down here is my little fruit slash farmers market. So you can have a see you have like a bunch of fish here. I have a blue marlin and a red snapper right here, and we have all the other fruits right here that are not native to my island. And then going down further, we'll go across here. So here's like the big centerpiece, so just a little fountain in the center with like a rainbow color of tulips and then two of these uh, marketplace decoration signs that you get from the pocket camp thing uh, on both sides of that and then surrounded all by cedar trees. And so the right over here is the more of the uh, general marketplace. So I decided to have some vendors with like the seasonal items here. So we have the Easter items right here, even though they're kind of, they're kind of annoying to be around, but I thought it would be cool to have them here. Then also have the cherry blossom things here. There was a DIY here, but I think someone's like it, so I'll probably put another uh, cherry blossom DIY whenever I find the time to do that. And then also have some random DIYs I have for people to take, so I just put two on each. These are the better ones, so I just usually throw away the other ones because I don't feel, really feel like finding people to take those. So that's the shops. So down here is so right here is a like little street vendor marketplace. So I have a little Japanese food right here, and then also Italian food with some pasta, whatever that is. I forgot what it was. And then to the left over here is a kind of a restaurant type of thing here. You'll see it makes sense later, but I have some ovens, a brick oven, two of these smokers, and then a little kitchen area right here. And then continuing down, I have a cookie, a fortune cookie thing over here, a cotton candy thing right here. And then this is attached towards this little restaurant thing over here. So it's like the seating area. So I decided to put it on the beach. So here's a little post this uh, desk right here. And then here's the seating, it's more like a formal type of thing on the beach that people can eat at. So I just put some of the uh, iron garden chairs and some uh, wooden tables with the white, uh, white cloth on top. Just to make it look kind of like elegant and nice. And then also put some two racks right here. So that's my marketplace. There's nothing over here on the rest of the beach. It's just a bunch of flowers. I have a lot of flowers and I need to get rid of these. So. I'm going to build an island first, see what flowers I need, and after I'm done with that, I'm going to just get rid of all of them because they're taking up a lot of space. So moving on, we have some residential areas. This part is kind of incomplete still. I 
did do Shep's house, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep him here for a little bit. But down here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a restaurant or like a cafe type of thing over here. And to this side, we have Sandy's house. I haven't decorated it yet because I wanted to move out, so I didn't feel the need. But right here, I'm probably going to put a library. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see about that later. So continuing up, I haven't finished this side either. There's a lot of stuff that's not done yet, so I'm sorry about that. But up here is Amelia's house. She's right next to the waterfall. I also tried to get her to move out, but it's whatever. We'll sleep right there for now. And then continuing up, you've seen this in my Zen Garden video, but here is the updated Zen Garden. So I got a few more items up here now. So I added some mossy uh, lanterns. I forgot what they're called. Stone lanterns up here. And also put some log stakes. I also added this little bamboo deer scare. I think that's what it's called. And then I moved some bamboos around. Put some flowers around here. So here's the Zen Garden. Keep going up. So here's Gonzo's house. And then we have a little uh, a drying rack right here. And next to that is a water basin. And then in the back, since I have so many flowers, I decided to put some random hybrids everywhere. But going around here still. This size were largely the same. Let me pick up these leaves. I haven't done that yet. Whoops. Where's that back? So this part is largely the same over here. So I haven't really changed anything. I just blocked off this area where the, the, for the amount for the uh, museum is. So we'll keep... Oops, sorry about that. We'll keep uh, moving up around here. We'll go over to the museum next. All right, so going to the museum here, I have a bench and then a little sign pointing to where the museum is. And then since the last uh, museum video you guys saw, I decided to add a telescope right here and a little like space uh, stall right here. I need to put some Celeste items in here, but I don't really have that many DIYs right now, so I'll just put those in whenever I get them. I'll just put some Star Fragments in there for right now. But this is pretty much the same since when you saw the uh, museum time lapse. The only thing I've added is these, the Golden Dung Beetle and Golden Arowana to the sides here. I do need to find something better to put these on. I just put them on stone stools for now, but I really don't like how it looks, so I need to find something different. If you have any suggestions, let me know, because I need to find something, because it looks kind of ugly right now. But I just put it there for right now. So I'll keep moving. So this is the museum area. So I have to run all the way back to get to the other part of my island, which is done so far. There's Twiggy right there. So yeah, a lot of this is not done, so I apologize for that. I will be continuing to do my building videos. And then I estimate I'll probably be done with this probably in like a month, maybe a month and a half, because I have a lot of work to do still. Here's Shep right here. Alright, so this is the other part of my island that's pretty much done at this point. This is the most finished part so far. Because I, I don't know, I do these things in like random sections. So I really know I like, I don't focus on one area. I just like put random things down. So here's some two more of my residential houses. You saw this in my tips video for Villager Yard. So I have Marina right here and Twiggy right here. So the only thing I changed is I added these little uh, log lounge and then a the little tea thing right here for Twiggy's house. And then for Marina's house is pretty much the same. I just need to find some more shell DIYs to put over here. All I have is the bed. So I want to put more stuff in this like gap right here. I want to put like, maybe like a table and some like chairs or something. I also want to put the shell fountain here somewhere, but I need to get that DIY first. So moving right along, we have this little pathway here. I really like how this came out. So we have a swinging bench right here. And then next to that, we have two cherry blossom branches. And then across here, we have a cherry blossom pond stone. And then a little, um, let's see, get rid of all this. We have a little table with the magazine and a cherry blossom right there, too. So here's like a little Japanese pink walkway leading towards my Japanese courtyard. So here, uh, so this is my most recent video, so you've probably seen this already, but I'll just walk through this. This is Snake's house right here. And then over here is Roll's house. You've probably all seen this already. And then down here is my Japanese Samurai Dojo. I really like how this came out. It's probably my favorite part of the island so far, so that's where people can come to fight, I guess. And then coming across over here, we have a little, like, camp area where people can read. I put a little library right here. And then a bonfire next to it. Alright, so continuing on here, we have this little second level here. We have a cotton candy stall and a little soft serve uh, lamp and a, uh, what is this called? A gumbo machine next to it. 
This used to be where a lounge was, but I changed the area up here. So I'm moving my cafe over to where Chef's house is around there. So I'll probably make this into something different. I'm not sure what yet. So this is just empty for right now. And then up here, we have my hybrid cloning. Oh my God, it's messy over here. We have my hybrid cloning area over here. It just rained yesterday, so it's really messy. So my hybrid cloning right here. And then to the right of it, we have my campsite right here. So. So yeah, that's pretty much the island so far. A lot of people have been asking for an island tour, so I decided to just give you guys one just uh, so you can see what my island looks like in total so far. But other than that guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be making more building videos soon as well as probably providing some more island updates as well. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.